All right, good afternoon. Um, appreciate everyone joining us. Uh, you know, I, I, my, my comments um, following the game were, were in particular just talking about how I didn't feel our, our team responded real well to adversity. Upon looking back at the film and, and, and watching it, I really feel that that's how it was. I think our guys um, came out ready to play. I thought we had really good energy. I thought we were playing good defense. Um, you know, we, we had a good punt return that set up a potential score or a, a score would end up being a field goal. Um, so I, I, I thought we were, we were moving and, and, and ticking in all areas. And then obviously there was an injury in the game and, and it kind of, um, you know, took the wind out of our sails. I, I think we didn't respond well to adversity. So, you know, that, that's it just, just is what it is. Well, we're certainly going to learn from it. It's something we, we talked about as a team and, and we'll use it as a teachable moment. I, there, there's been times obviously earlier in this year where we've had adversity, similar adversity, and they handled it really well. So, um, you know, go, go, go figure on that. But, but we'll, we'll certainly, we, we got a, a great group of guys, good, really good leadership on our team, and, and we'll learn from that. that. That's the, you know, the lesson coming out of the game. Um, you know, there's obviously certain plenty of areas to clean up on um, in, in all, all aspects of the game. Um, so injury update, you know, obviously Kasim went down in the game. Um, Kasim suffered a torn ACL. And uh, so he'll be getting surgery here sometime soon. We don't have the date set yet, but uh, we're waiting for the swelling to go down and, and, and you know make sure to handle that the right way. And so um, really feel for Kasim and and uh, we'll talk about a you know there there they're not not many kids that have higher character than that guy and worked really hard and I thought he performed really well for this team and you know it was it was just a it was a tough play he was competing and you know got got spun around got hit and um, and, and obviously went, went down to the game so. Um, He'll bounce back. He's got a great future in, in football, both both here and and, and beyond. I, I think that, that's pretty clear. That guy's a phenomenal talent, and, and that doesn't even compare to the type of person he is. So he's got a great attitude about it. He's he's looking this thing right in the face, saying, "Let's go get it," and we get surgery and, and rehab and be back with us, you know, when when the time allows. So um, other than that, coming out of the game, there's no no other uh, no other injuries to report of. So, questions. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. Yeah, DJ, how, I guess how devastating is that to have two guys in the span of three weeks that, you know, go down uh, the quarterback position? And, and I guess, how do you kind of rally the guys kind of around those circumstances and try to create that energy that Maybe you didn't have last week. Kids, kids, players, you know, um, men, you know, are resilient. You know, so like they're, they're, our guys are going to rally. They're, they're, they're already. We had a really good practice yesterday. We're going to go out and have a great Tuesday today. The guys are resilient. Kasim is going to bounce back and be resilient. But that's just that's that's part of it. You know, this is all great great learning lessons for all of our guys. But both the guys that are have been affected by these injuries. You know, Piggy's down. Kasim, Jesse, all those guys had you know. Big injuries that are going to put them out for a long time. Those, those guys, you, you see them every day. You look them right in the eye, and they're 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 ready to go, they're ready to attack it, and the, and the team's ready to respond too. So it's just it's 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 part of it. You know, it's part of the game. Unfortunately, and what happens at the same position that makes things a little tougher. But you know, I don't know. I mean, it's 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 part of life, and it's it's a great way to learn. Coach, next man up mentality. Max Bortenschlager getting the start this Saturday. What's impressed you? He was in a tough spot last weekend, but what's impressed you with? How he's grown as a player, as a quarterback. Uh, what gives you confidence in him this Saturday? Just his his own confidence in himself. Max is a tough kid, and he did. He went in a tough spot, and I thought I thought he, you know, um, it was a gutsy performance. He did really well. You know, it, it wasn't perfect, but who would expect it to be? And and um, he's tough. He competes, and, and Max has confidence in himself, and we have confidence in him. And you know, now, now having a full week to prepare and, and practice and. You know where where we, we can tailor the game plan to, to him as opposed to someone else will certainly help him. Behind that, sort of backup options looking like right now. 
Yeah, um, you know, Caleb Henderson's coming along and he's, he's practicing and, and doing well, and so um, he'll certainly be be ready to go and, and getting a lot of reps this week and competing. And then, um, you know, Ryan Brand is, is the, the third team quarterback who does a great job for us every day. He's a very accountable guy and knows the offense and been with us, you know, for a while now. So. Coach, uh, Minnesota defensively, it's a small sample size, but they lead the Big Ten in total defense also, I think, allowing just 3.2 yards per carry. What sort of problems does their defense pose? Uh, number one, when you watch the film, they play really hard. They're, they're a great effort uh, group. And that's, that's to me, the highest compliment you, you can give a team when you watch them. Uh, they, they have good personnel. They, they play fast. You, they're, they're sound in what they do. You tell they're well coached. I mean, they're, they're, you know, there's not a lot of mistakes on the, on the film. So they, they, they know what they're doing, they, they, they do it well, and uh, they play hard. Yeah, AJ, in terms of Max, last year he came in and he seemed to be calmer in the situation in, in, uh, in Nebraska. Do you think the, the week of preparation he had going into that game as opposed to coming in after an injury was, a tough, was an easier situation to, to, to come into it than Saturday? Sure. I mean, we we have a week to prepare and and um, you know know that you're you're the starter and, and and go through it all. Obviously, you get more reps. You get you get the the you know the main share of the reps and and, and what we're planning on doing and what we're planning on seeing. I mean, that it just you know your preparation helps you. In, in terms of in terms of the offense, um, do you feel that he's? Uh, I mean. He, You know, um, every guy has different strengths, weaknesses, what they're better at, good at. But, but I think, you know, um, our offense can operate just fine with Max there. I think we, we, we've shown that, proven that before. And, you know, and obviously, there, there's tweaks and things you major in or tailor to who the personnel is. And, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll certainly do that with, with that in mind with Max. When you talk about timing, Coach, going into the Big Ten schedule, up against the adversity, a time when you see the guys, even in practice this week and then in the game, who steps up and where the, the leadership comes from, both in the room, but also in the game when, when you need them to, to react to the first real adversity. You know, you lose your quarterback earlier in the season, but to, to lose the quarterback and come out of a loss coming into the Big Ten season. Is that, is that when, when you, look, you look at the guys and you really get a chance to see how they're going to react? To, to something like that. Yeah, I mean, I, one of the greatest things about the game of football is you have to deal with adversity almost daily, in different levels of adversity. So that this would be a little higher level than, than, than some things, but that, that's one of the greatest things. I, I, I laugh when people talk about, you know, should should our youth play football? And it's the greatest teacher of life lessons of anything you can do. And and, and so yeah, like. So, I mean, this is this is part of it, right? There, there's going to be worse things that happen in life too. Unfortunately, it's, it's part of it. So, you know, I mean, like our guys, they're 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 resilient. They're going to bounce back, and it is what it is. I, I I told the team, and I mean it. There's no one that cares about our problems, and most are glad we have them. That's the reality of it, you know. So, like, what, what are we going to do? Let's let's we're going to go. We're going to go buckle up and go fight and and do whatever we got to do and 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 pick each other up. It's just. Uh, you know, it's part of life. It's part of what you learn. It's the greatest thing about football. And so, you know, here we are. That's 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 the the hand we've been dealt, and it's no one's fault. Those, those guys are obviously we're competing like crazy, and they got hurt on the field. It's part of the game. It's part of what happens. They're in great hands. We have great doctors, great training staff here. They're going to bounce back and be just fine. They're, they're going to be great players here as we move forward. In the meantime, right now, when they're out, teammates got to step up. Other guys, gotta, not just Max. It's got to be the O line's got to play better. The receivers, the running backs, the defense got to play better. We got to make plays on special teams, and our guys will do that. The door closes, but another door opens. Like yeah. Yeah, it's just just how it goes, you know. It's like, here we go. We, no one's, no one's leaning down crying. Let's, let's, let's go play, man. It's part of the game. It's a beautiful part of the game. You talk about Lolo's performance on Saturday. He seemed to have a little bit more of a, you know, his game back in you know, a couple of first couple of games. I think Lolo's played well this year. Uh, and, and consistently well. There's always some things you do better or differently. That, that, that guy is one of the hardest playing guys in college football. He 
he competes in everything he does. It, it, when you see him out there on special teams or on offense, even when he's not carrying the ball, I mean, there's plays where he's picking up a blitz, then running it on the field, trying to get another block down the field. I mean, just amazing effort plays. So, um, you know, we, we, we love that about him, and, and we're always coaching him on little things to get better. Um, but, but he certainly he, he gives up for his teammates. Last two. Coach, um, obviously, you guys are still adjusting a little bit without Jesse and Bob. What do you think about uh, Chandler's performance going back and forth, really, from Buck and Dean? Chandler was doing great. I mean, he's he's you know playing two different spots as you said. He, he's very accountable with assignment wise. Um, he does a really good job. I mean, he's conscious of and aware of, of, of the things he's got to do. And um, you know, he's a big part of what we do defensively. I think you know he's another guy. I talked about Lolo and his effort. That's another guy that plays really really hard. He's always competing, going hard, and, and you know that's, that's we love that about him. And we're going to continue to you know play him in more than one spot because that's what we need him to do. And, and he's he's ready and willing. Can you talk about the run game moving forward to Minnesota and did UCF do something special or was it the injury that, that rendered the run game a little less effective last week? Yeah, I mean you know yeah, I mean UCF we knew going in the game based on how they how they play, they put a lot of bare front and, and kind of take the run away in the box. We we, we were um, you know knowing they were going to try and take that away on us and, and open up more stuff in the throw game. I, again, I, I think a lot of the way that game went had to do with and not, not, not like it's a good reason or excuse. It just, it just is what it is. I, there, there was a, you know, a noticeable change in, in the demeanor of, of our guys, which we have to handle better moving forward. Um, but yeah, we, we kind of felt that. I mean, you could do things on defense, and we're going to say, okay, you're, you're, you know, we're not going to allow you to run the ball, and that's when we've got to be able to execute and, and throw the ball down the field. And that's that's a, a, an ongoing thing we're continuing to work with. Okay. Thank you.